I want to give you the right. word because I think that's what we're doing. Is everybody ready? Let's do it. Okay. 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 So, um, you know, this year's team just looked at the roster. There's a lot different from last year. So I think you added maybe half a dozen transfers or something. Um, how, how, much, how much different does this team feel and how much better do you think it will be? It looks full, for one. Um, we were right. just, Thank yeah, you. I mean, we, uh, we hadn't had a full roster, you know, in the time that we've been here. So just having the versatility of that and players being able to play in their true position is definitely a blessing. And we've matured and we've grown not just in size, but also like in talent and in maturity. So we're really excited about this group. When you, when you guys last year decided that um, y'all were going to postpone the rest of your season, mm -hmm. um, what, what did you do kind of for the rest of the college basketball season? Were you continuing to practice every day and sort of play a regular schedule but without the games? Uh, we worked out. You know, we just uh, did a lot of skill development and just took advantage of just the time and being able to really kind of work at things in a detailed way and grow our kids individually. The buy-in was great and, you know, those that completely, you know, bought in and brought themselves and a high level of work um, got better, you know, in a great way. So you'll definitely see that going into the season. You had a James Posey to your, your staff. What's mm -hmm. he been like as a, a coach? He's been great. Um, we're just really intentional, of, or, or I'm really intentional about like who I bring into our program and around our kids. It's really important that not only we we treat them well, but we're able to grow them in a way that they're going to find success not just at the collegiate level, but you know post sport when they leave us and you know they're going out into the world. And Coach Posey brings so much like depth and just knowledge and you know he cares he's made a very easy transition and he gets along with our kids well and he simplifies the game for them in a way that um, allows them to be able to get it and then um, apply it rather quickly so really excited about you know the addition of coach Posey I've known him for a very long time and although we've worked out in the gym together this is the first time that we've been able to work together professionally and he's the same and that's a good thing what is the motivation just in practice been like as y'all kind of ramp up here just knowing that you know, these these girls really want to show what they've been doing for this past year um, the motivation is being able to play games. You know, it, it feels like we've been, you know, it's only been a season, but we've so far removed. It was really difficult for our kids to watch everyone else play. You know, it wasn't a decision that they made um, just kind of solely as a group. We had to take a lot of things into account, and, you know, their health and wellness being one of them, being out for such a long period of time, and um, having so little time to prepare. You know, the season doesn't stop. You know, everyone wasn't experiencing the exact same thing as us. So what we couldn't do is ask the ACC to postpone, you know, games and things like that for a few weeks so we could kind of get back in shape and get ready with a short roster. So um, it, w it was just the health and wellness, you know, of our kids. And that became something that we had to just think about and work on like mentally because not playing for them and you know being in isolation and not being able to have the true college experience was tough you know but you know sometimes the right decision is the hardest decision to make and I absolutely believe that we made the right decision. You talked about the roster just having a fuller roster but where do you think this team has made the most gains you know since we last saw you in December? Well, you know, we've talked about size. I keep saying that because that's a huge part of it. But we've just um, we've just grown in our versatility and our talent level. Um, we have a lot of kind of like-minded people or players that are are very much in line with um, Amadine, what we call her Dean, in, in in London, and that they're really passionate about playing and being competitive and um, winning. You know, it has definitely. Um, grown, you know, the culture that we've been working on and that we've kind of set forth to kind of lead, you know, who we are as a program. And when you can get players that um, 
blend and buy in, you know, to the culture. It just makes the process, although very hard, a lot more enjoyable, but it gives you the opportunity to grow rather quickly, and I think that we've been able to do that. And just because you mentioned Dean, you know, what has this past year been like for her, someone who's never had a full season, really, and yeah. just kind of watching her step more into that leadership role now? It's been great. Um, you know, Dean and I talk about it, you know, like quite often, just, you know, her growth individually and just kind of the nature of our relationship. She's the one, you know, player that has been here from the very beginning. So she has, saw, she's seen, you know, and been a witness of the grind that it has taken for us to get to this point to be competitive, but also to just kind of have a full roster. Um, the buy-in for her in the beginning wasn't easy, but when she started seeing, you know, the fruits of her labor, it became something, a part of who she was. And, you know, being a worker and kind of pouring everything into not just, you know, her basketball game, but, you know, also her academics. She's matured in such a great way. So it is, um, for me, the right place you know that she is like right now as far as like leadership because she's put in the work and she's grown in a way that um, everything that she's done has allowed her to be at this place so it's an example to our other student athletes that when you do buy in this is the potential that you have I'm what do you feel? Oh, sorry you go okay. ahead I'm obligated to ask Kelsey why you fit in it I said, how's the light uh, fitting in from Penn? I didn't hear that. Oh. It's, <laughs> the mask, I know. Yeah. How, yeah. How's the light fitting in from, uh, from Penn? Oh, Alea. Okay. Oh, yeah. like, he's, oh, she's great. I mean, she has given us a presence that we haven't had, you know, especially in the time that I have been here. She has, like, great size and very crafty around the basket, an easy transition for her academically. You know, she's an Ivy kid, yeah. so, you know, there was not much preparing, you know, that we had to do for her on uh, with Life on Grounds at UVA. Um, but just her maturity and just her um, soft yet exact um, approach to the game has been great for us. What do you feel like is um, the most surprising part about this team um, that people may see when y'all take the court in a few weeks? Well, I'm not surprised because I picked them. <laughs> so <laughs> it was very intentional, you know, as to, you know, why we picked the players that we picked. But I think that people will for sure be surprised at how quickly we've been able to grow. I want to ask you, um, you know, you had a really cool moment in the off season coaching the uh, WNBA All-Stars against Team USA. What was that like for you, um, especially just kind of another thing on your coaching career? But I'm sure that was a special moment nonetheless. Well, it was fun. I mean, just being able to coach players of, you know, that just level and, and, and talent and, um, you know, just kind of like that mental approach to the game that, you know, you're used to as a player, uh, but not necessarily as a coach. I mean, I'm coaching at the collegiate level, and although we have kids that are very, like, competitive, there's a different, you know, process and mindset that you go into when you become a professional. So it was really fun to be able to so quickly go from very short period of time of preparation and um, giving them instruction and then being able to apply it immediately, but also for them to just kind of get, you know, mm -hmm. what it means to compete at that level and also the moment. Mm -hmm. The fact that Lisa and I are who we are. We <laughs> are competitors, so every situation that we go into, we want to win. And the first question we asked them was, do you guys want to play an all-star game or do you want to win? <laughs> and they said that they wanted to win. So that was our mindset from, you know, that, mo that moment on. Yeah. And a big picture question, we're coming off a season where there was a lot of attention on kind of the unequals, the inequalities between men's basketball and women's basketball. Yeah. What do you think we have to do together to kind of raise the bar to, you know, there, this, this sport deserves more attention, just as much attention as the men's game? Well, I think a lot of things have come out of it. Um, one of them is that um, we're having the conversation. I think that that's the most important thing. What I really enjoyed and I'm so proud of is that our student athletes having a voice and uh, having the, the comfort level, you know, to speak, you know, their opinions about it, what they're seeing, what they're experiencing, and being unapologetic about it. Mm -hmm. 
um, them having the platform to be able to do so. I think that it's going to take everyone. It's not just going to take uh, female, you know, athletes uh, and their coaches or those involved in women's sports. It's going to take everyone that is watching, viewing, or participating in the fact that there is. Um, there, there's not a, a balance and that there um, are some inequities that are happening that don't necessarily have to happen. So I think that it's going to take the whole group of us, not just women, but also men that are noticing these things to support and also speak up. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank I know you. there's still like a month until the season, but do you yeah. have an idea of starting five? Is that something that's still a work in progress?